To be honest, Messi. there's not much to hammer you about this morning because Spurs, although they didn't play amazingly, Spurs are looking all right too. Yeah, we got the points. You know, it wasn't a great performance. A little bit concerned about Son with his with his performances right now. Um, be interested. I want to actually ask some Spurs fans, you know, about maybe going to a four at the back at home and trying to get them all in the side. But I feel like we need a little bit more creativity in midfield. Um, playing three four three, you know, Hoiberg and Bentoncourt. I think they struggle to kind of really get hold of the game and Wolves dominated us in midfield and mm. I think that's a problem for us Do a little bit. Do you think you're going to get that with Conte a little bit? Yes, because I, I know he loves that 3-4-3 three, three mm. formation but I spoke to Jason about it when he was Chelsea manager and he did change. He, he did he eventually did go to a four and played like a 4-2-3-1 and I think when you've got Richarlison on the bench and uh, can you fit them all in? You know, can you get Kulisevsky, Kane, Son and Richarlison in the team? And I think you, the only way to do that is if you go four at the back. Didn't he start with a four at Chelsea and then switch to a three when he played Arsenal? Um, wasn't, that, wasn't that it? I'm sure that was it. I'm sure they switched to three at the back. Yeah, and I mean, look, on I, know he likes, I know he likes this three, four, three, but it's, mm. it's not like set in stone that he's going to play. You know, he has changed it in the past. And I just think, look, certain games, there might be game like when you're playing against Wolves who are good on the ball, good in midfield, players that know how to keep it, mm. we lacked a little bit of creativity and we found it hard in the end to get a foothold in the game. Still got the points, which is great, but Wolves really, you know, they would have come away from that disappointed. So, change of mentality for Spurs, not playing well, but still getting wins. That's that's the main thing for us and um, I was really happy with the points, but just a little bit concerned about Son. Doesn't, you know, he got dragged again, come off after 75 minutes. And he didn't look happy coming off. Do He's not think, used to that. Do you think that Spurs still have the best front three in the league at this point in time? Yes. You do? Even though he got dragged at half-time? Well, he can come off half, half-time. 75 minutes he come oh, off. So. Right, so. Yeah, he hasn't... He, look, he's still a world-class player. He's just, you know... Yeah, you can't... I'm not going to change my opinion on that in, you know, two weeks of the season. Uh, who's better? I love how angry that made you. So, yeah, it's wound me up. It's really wound him up. It's only eight minutes past six. It's going to be a long day, isn't it? Why do you think he got taken off then? Well, he's not been. He's he's, he's just not got going yet. Right. And, and, and look, there's there's loads of ways to start a season, right? You can you can start a season flying. You can be average. You can be okay. Son hasn't got going yet, and that's that's just a little bit of concern for me. I'm sure he'll find his feet. He gets a couple of goals, and then be back in business. Um. But I think he feels like maybe he's the one that's getting taken off of Richarlison at the minute, and that can kind of be... I can get in his head a little can bit. can get in your head. Yeah. You know, you're thinking, I've only got kind of 70 minutes here to really turn up and make something happen. So you start yeah. you start being a little bit more selfish. You start doing things you wouldn't normally do. He's always been like a 90-minute man. Him and Harry Kane never got took off. Some would score late goals. Now I look at it and he's probably thinking I'm the guy that's coming off for Richarlison at the minute, and that might and that can that can annoy you because yeah. I've had that in the past where you know you're the guy that you're like the first sub that when the manager makes a sub you're the guy that comes off all the time and it it it, it, it starts to wind you up in the end. Isn't it up to him though? It don't isn't that the whole point of bringing in a Richarlison or something to make those guys work harder? Yeah, I mean it's competition for places, absolutely. Mm. You and that's what you want. It's it's great because in games where you're not playing well, Richarlison's come on and changed the game, so it's great. It's what we want. I'd just like to maybe see if we can get him in the team from the start, and that's why I think you know maybe going to a four at home when you you know and we and we dominate more of the ball in midfield uh, and see if we can get him in there. You know, can you put can you put Kulisewski as a ten? Mm. You know, and and then put Richarlison on the right and and get all four of them in there. Mm. That, I'd like to see it. I don't know if he will, but it'd be interesting. It would be interesting to see that, wouldn't it? Actually, Talk Sport Breakfast with Laura Woods, Monday to Wednesday morning, six till ten on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.